Hello, everybody, and welcome to this, my next presentation and video about manufacturing careers, right? So what are some of the careers available in the manufacturing field? Okay. And how are these careers related to personal interest? I'm going to, I, I like this presentation. This is awesome. Um, I really like how it came out and hopefully the video will come out uh, awesome as well. I think that it will, but anyway, it'll come out awesome enough, I guess. Right. So this, this uh, presentation and video is, a little, is going to be a little bit different because I have a lot of links in this one. And that's because we're at a time in history where we're, we're doing, we're changing up how we do a lot of things, right? And obviously that goes without being said, but it also comes down to the, you know, many careers in manufacturing, careers in a lot of different fields, but we're going to talk about the manufacturing industry in particular. Um, as I mentioned, we have a lot, there's a lot of links that I have in this presentation and the presentation will be linked in my YouTube video once I upload it as well, just to keep you guys informed about that as it always is. Now, here's the deal. All of these things are links and I found, a, found out a lot of cool things when I was making this presentation. Um, so here we go. Um, this first link here, you know, I could have kept it here. I could have talked about this, but I'm going to make it bigger. It's a link to an article where the infographic infographic is kind of big. Um, this goes along with this association. Uh, there's an the association for manufacturing technology. So let's go to their website real quick. Okay. It's guys, there's so much out there for manufacturing careers right now. It's insane. Um, I just keep finding new ones all the time and there's events and there's information out there um you know it's just it's kind of almost endless it seems like okay so that's the association for manufacturing technology they work with this group imts okay let me open that up um you know they once again there's a whole bunch of stuff here we're actually going to come back to imts in a little bit but this is their website, and they just have so many cool things here, guys. Um, they call this IMTS Plus is a platform that allows the manufacturing technology community to learn about the personalities that drive the industry, gain insights on new technology, and make connections. So really cool site here, too. Okay. But what are some... Uh, careers in the manufacturing industry. Let me click on this. It's going to bring us, oh, it brought us right to it. That's awesome. Look at this. Okay. Let me move myself out of the way here as much as best I can. Um, and here it is, right? Smart Force Manufacturing Technology Careers. And it says up here, as we move further into the digital age, existing roles and duties have evolved and new roles and duties have developed to aid in the implementation of the more complex machines and powerful systems, system slash software tools. These are some of the in, these are some of the integral roles and duties of the manufacturing smart force. I like how they're doing this. Okay, this is why I picked this infographic to share with you guys. Along the bottom <clears throat> today. Um, it just gives a little, gives some numbers about the workforce today. So in the United States, we have 634,000 U S manufacturers. We have 768,000 open manufacturing jobs. Crazy. That's a lot of jobs out there and 15,000 open manufacturing robotics jobs alone. Um, not sure where they highlighted that, but they did. So it's there. Um, all right, cool. So here's some of the jobs here. Okay. What do we have? Uh, five, nine of them. 
So we have a CAM programmer, okay? CAM programmers set up, program, and adjust CNC manufacturing software to produce the optimal output. Sounds awesome, right? Um, you'll notice, I mean, look at, look at all these jobs just from this infographic, and you can do more research on your own. But all of these jobs are, inter, you know, they're interfacing with a computer or some sort of uh, GUI, graphical user interface, where they're controlling a machine or they're programming or uh, maybe they're controlling a robot or programming, whatever. But you'll notice in this infographic how many, you know, you can look around it, pause the video, do whatever you have to do. But look at all of these different, you know, people doing similar uh, things with a GUI, graphical user interface, either a computer or a screen connected to a CNC machine or to a robot machine, robot machine, eh, whatever. Um, anyway, so I just read CAM programmer. Um, we also have a CNC machine operator which the essential, essential role of a CNC operator is to operate the computer numerical controlled machines, e.g., e for example, given, a milling machine, lathe, grinder, etc., and often work, work alongside an integrated robot to load and unload parts. Awesome. A robotics technician. Robotics technicians install, service, maintain, troubleshoot, and repair robots and automated production systems, okay? Sounds awesome as well. Manufacturing engineer, manufacturing engineers design and manufacture the manufacturing systems of production that, that turn raw materials into discrete part production, okay? I'm gonna try to read better and enunciate better, okay? I noticed that in some of my videos, I don't do that as well as I should. <laughs> Um, a cybersecurity technician, cybersecurity technicians, network traffic, record computer forensics, conduct data preservation and investigate for network breaches and or unauthorized data access. Yo, these jobs are awesome. Um, a quality control engineer or technician. Um, QC engineers and technicians oversee the manufacturing of products and are involved in every stage of making a product from development to final packaging to ensure quality. Cool. Uh, field service technicians slash engineers and industrial maintenance technicians. Uh, field service technicians and in engineers install, maintain, and repair the mechanical and electronic functions of manufacturing technology equipment and tools. Often they travel from site to site for preventative maintenance and to solve problems that may arise. It goes without being said that all of these jobs, all of these careers, right? Not jobs, not jobs, careers. You have to, I'm sure you have to solve like so many problems from little problems simple problems to complex problems it's just about thinking on your feet something that i hope something that i hope i am getting to y'all okay and here we go an additive manufacturing machine operator now if i had a job in the in the manufacturing career sector uh this is what i would want to do probably you guys all know me i have so many 3d printers and we just just do a good job with them, hopefully. Um, an additive manufacturing machine operator. Additive manufacturing machine operators independently set up additive manufacturing machines. Monitor the build process as assigned by um, additive manufacturing designers and additive, additive, sorry, AM materials technicians and unload completed work. Okay. Awesome. Like so such an awesome job okay and then smart systems integration technician ssits integrate equipment with connect connectivity technologies to monitor and adapt system behavior program devices and data visualization visual, visualization tools 
document system uh, designs and verify that networked equipment systems meet virtual and physical requirements. So there you have it. That is this infographic from um, Smart Force Manufacturing Technology Careers. So awesome. It's just like such a cool thing. Okay. Back to our presentation here. Once again, these are all links, guys. So you can go ahead if you would, if you want, and you can click on any of them. Um, once again, I'm going to post a link to this presentation in the YouTube video. Okay. Boom. Here we go. Well, um, let me, let's, I kind of, I found, look, hold on. <laughs> I found this as well. Okay. I found this as well. And since we're here in Connecticut, okay, I found that there is this Connecticut um, manufacturers resource group, right? So that's a link. Um, that's cool. That's there, right? They actually made this infographic and it's got the, you know, it's got the watermark in there, but I don't care. I'm just going to click on it. Um, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this uh, slide in a couple minutes, right? But this is this is something I thought was important to talk about because move this little thing here because I th just feel like there's still and and there's probably always going to be some misconceptions about manufacturing and and jobs and careers in manufacturing. So the misconception you can see over here on this. Um, it's left hand side is that manufacturing is dirty, it's monotonous, it's low paying, and it's boring, right? Versus the reality is that you're going to work with state of the art equipment in a clean working environment, right? Um, I've brought you to some manufacturing um, companies, right? Some plants. I don't like to call them plants, manufacturing locations. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, they're high tech, interesting work with ability to to train in many areas. Okay, um, they we earn an average of thirteen percent more in compensation from the start, and you can go from aerospace to advanced prosthetics. Um, the industry is changing basically from all of those jobs in between. So they put this uh, the Connecticut Manufacturers Resource Group. Once again, we are in Connecticut. They put out this, these statistics guess me, I don't know, maybe a year or two ago, job availability, over 2 million U.S. jobs available in the next six years. Crazy. Growth potential, manufacturers offer opportunities for those who want to learn. Tuition reimbursement, many manufacturers offer this and support uh, training in general. Look, I got news for you. If you go into this field, you're going, you're going to get a lot of different training because you have to look at me, for example. I'm, a, I'm actually just, I'm just a teacher, but I want to teach you guys this stuff. So what do I have to be trained in? I have to be trained in so many things, 3D printing, slicer programs, uh, G code, lasers, saws, you know, look, think about all the stuff that, you know, we have to know in this, in this field, manufacturing, it's crazy. Um, impact the economy, manufacturing jobs create two non-manufacturing jobs. Interesting perspective. Impact the environment. Want to make the environment cleaner. Help a manufacturer be greener. And some job security. Robots aren't going to take your jobs. You're going to run the robots. So that's actually true. In a lot of places now, we're you know, programming robots. Uh, a 3D printer, a CNC 3, 3D printer is basically just a robot too. It's just running off of code if you think about it. So we have, but well, it has to know, like, what do we want it to make? And, you know, amongst other things. So here's this right here and the information to get to uh, Connecticut MRG, right? So that's that. Um, it's just some real cool stuff, guys. All these websites, all these links in here. So I just thought that was cool. But this is arguably cooler. Um, this takes us to this link. Just clicked up here. It's the Smart Force 
career connections, right? And there's an explanation of how to do it down here. Basically, you can click on this link. It brings you here. And these QR codes, you can scan with your phone to all these companies. And they bring you to their quote unquote careers page. Look at all these cool places that there are jobs. Um, hopefully, you know, they keep these QR codes up and going. But even if they don't, you can research this yourselves. Look at all these, look at all these companies. I just scrolled through it. But it's there's so many cool companies here, guys. So feel free. Once again, you're going to click up here on this presentation. You're going to click. Uh, it's going to bring you to this link here and all these QR codes to these companies and their career pages. So what do you want to do? Where do you want to work? What do you want to build? What do you want to create? As mentioned, right? A lot of these, a lot of these companies, if not all of these companies, they have to. There's so many jobs in manufacturing over the next few years that they have to offer these cool things like tu tuition reimbursement and um, growth potential, you know, like on the job training, right? Okay. So they have to because they need so many people to do these jobs. Okay. So that's there. All these links continuing on. Let's go. Oh, uh, no, not that. Oh, sorry. I clicked on the wrong thing there. Let's go to the third slide. Third and final slide here. So I'm actually not going to um, re, I'm not going to play these videos within uh, this video, <laughs> right? It's there if you would like to take a look at it. But these are, or these two videos are here if you'd like to take a look at them. They're pretty awesome. We will take a look at them in class. I put um, two other links here with their logos. Manufacturing USA brings you to their website. Okay. And then also America Makes brings you to their website. So many resources for careers okay, and companies. But wait, there's one more, and I kind of hit it here, article, right? It's from, this article is from uh, Manufacturing USA. They made another really cool infographic, and it's quite large. So I'm going to do my best to get in here, right? I'm going to... I'm. You know what I'm going to do? Let me just make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Pathways to manufacturing careers. Um, this is, oh, let me go back. Hold on. This is from September 28th, 2021. So it is a couple years old, but that's okay. You know, I'm sure that most of this stuff is still relevant and or even probably has even gotten better okay but this is a cool way to look at manufacturing careers right some pathways here i'm not going to read this whole thing this whole paragraph at the top um some similar stuff to what i've already mentioned but manufacturing to manufacturing so here we go assembly machine operator so if you go how to read this is if you go from a mach assembly machine operator if you want to be an automation technician, there's a $19,208 salary increase. Look at this. Okay. So you're going to go from these basic jobs over here along these lines to these higher tech jobs. And look at how many automation technician job postings there were back in 2020. I'm sure it's even more now. 201,000 just for those type of jobs, right? Some of the skills that are needed, um, repair, machinery, hand tools, welding, machine operation, forklift operation, power tools, and cleaning. And then the top three skills needed, predictive or preventative maintenance, schematic, diagrams, and HVAC. Awesome, right? Okay, so um, I'll read some of these. You know what? I, 
Eh, maybe I, I I don't think I'll read all of them, but let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, you go to the next one. You can be a lean um, manufacturing technician. And a lot of these guys, these jobs over here on the left-hand side, right? Companies want these people as, as um, intro level employees. Okay. This is how you'll start with the company on the left-hand side. You'll be an assembly machine operator. You'll be a welder or solderer. You'll be a CNC operator. Um, some of these are non-manufacturing to manufacturing, landscaping or uh, grounds keeping worker, a cabinet maker, a television or satellite um, television installer. But so you'll start maybe here, right? Okay. And then you'll go here. You'll go to the right-hand side. Okay. And you'll get some, you'll get a salary increase. You'll, you'll, you'll start with the company on, on these skill, on these jobs. And then you'll go across, get more training, you'll get paid more. So you'll, you'll still be able to stay with the same or a sim, similar company, I think is an important thing to note. But you'll, as you get more training, you'll, you'll get a better job. Okay. That makes sense. So automation. Automation technician, lean manufacturing technician, robotics technician, general composite technician, additive technician. I'm going to read this one, right? So if you start with the company as a, a computer numerical control or CNC operator and you want to move up, you can become an additive technician, right? What is an additive technician? It is a 3D printing or additive manufacturing technician. And what you need to know is about 3D printing, but also about robotics and prototyping. Okay. The current skills you probably have is repair, cleaning, CNC. I'm um, sorry, repair, cleaning, CNC machines, machining, and hand tools. Awesome. Right. I just think it's amazing how we're getting to a place where we're, we're really nailing down. Like this is what you what you possibly could do for careers. This is how you could start, and this is what you'll move into. Um, if you are like kind of in construction right now, and, and or you have some skills um, as a landscaper or a cabinet maker, right? Look at these cool things. You can be an additive technician as well. Um, the current skills you have are repair, CNC, and hand tools, probably. And then you'll learn about how to do 3D printing and additive manufacturing. Additive, additive manufacturing, just as an aside, I can't stress enough, it's going to be huge okay, in the next 5, 10, 20 years. It's just really getting started. But this is a cool thing. It's this infographic, like I mentioned. Let me make the Let me make this a little bit smaller again. So we don't go crazy when I go back to this website. And there it is, right? It's part of Manufacturing um, USA. I brought you to this website already. And all of these links, okay? All of these links that I opened during the presentation, guys, are right here, as well as these two videos, right? Rethinking Manufacturing. It's a pretty good inspirational video here. Um, and then this video as well, it kind of explains some of the careers and what we need to do in the United States and the world to really, you know, um, keep manufacturing moving forward and, and building our world differently. Okay. So all these links are here, right? Association for Manufacturing Technology, IMTS Plus. Uh, this infographic, I really, I think it's still so cool. Uh, the Connecticut Manufacturers Resource Group, why manufacturing, all these jobs from these different companies, Manufacturing USA, um, America Makes, some pathways to manufacturing from America, uh, from Manufacturing USA, who works with America Makes, by the way. Um, so cool, really cool right there. And then back to my presentation all of those links are here, guys, in this presentation. And I hope you got a little bit of information about what you could do as a manufacturer, 
um, and a career in the manufacturing industry. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon. Peace.